Hey artisans, scientists know that nature is good for mental health. And one of the situations where people will need all of the positive mental health that they can get is during space travel. So is it possible to bring the positive mental health effects of nature into space? Allow me to explain. People have long suspected that occasionally getting away from the grind of day-to-day -day life and into more natural environments is healthy. As Henry David Thoreau wrote in his book Walden in 1846, we need the tonic of wildness. We can never have enough of nature. And he was right. Nature is a tonic. As we will discuss, whether it's gardening, looking out of a window at nice natural scenery, taking a walk in the woods, or simply looking at pictures of or listening to nature, it all seems to help a person's well-being. If you want to learn more about the theories as to why nature affects well-being, I recommend this video by Neurotransmissions. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on what seems to work. To help with that, I'm talking with Cheryl from the Roving Naturalist YouTube channel. Cheryl, a while back you made a video about biophilia, how nature is good for people. What is it that nature does to people? Weirdly enough, something happens in your brain that translates the inputs from you just seeing nature into something that's good for our emotions, our social interactions, and even our pain tolerance. And when I say seeing, I really mean it. Some of the positive benefits of interacting with nature can be experienced just by looking at pictures of nature. Of course, being in a room with living plants or spending time outside is usually better. Several studies have examined how nature affects people's performance on mental exercise or decreases patients' need for traditional pain medications. If you'd like to learn more about these studies, you can check out the video I made on biophilia. Lots of people have guesses about why biophilia is a thing, but I tend to prefer the simple answer. We're part of nature. That is, we humans are animals, and our species originated and evolved in natural spaces. It's only very recently that we've begun to remove ourselves from nature and live in fabricated structures. I would guess that it's this removal of ourselves from the places where we evolved that has caused changes to our brains, our emotions, and the way our bodies work. Thanks, Cheryl. One place that the effects of nature could be useful is in outer space. In 2016, NASA released a lengthy document that discussed what they know so far about the risks to mental health while in outer space. As part of the report summary, they state that, While mood and anxiety disturbances have occurred, no behavioral emergencies have been reported to date in spaceflight. Anecdotal and empirical evidence indicate that the likelihood of an adverse cognitive or behavioral condition or psychiatric disorder occurring greatly increases with the length of a mission. So it seems like NASA is nervous about upcoming long-duration spaceflights. They screen and train astronauts carefully in order to minimize risks, but spaceflight can be unpredictable. Are astronauts prepared to handle mental health issues? According to Scientific American, the International Space Station has antipsychotics, antidepressants, and anxiolytic drugs in its medicine kit. But maybe there's a way besides drugs and careful astronaut selection to promote good mental health. It sounds like they could use some more natural environments. Unfortunately, getting out into more natural environments in space would mean blowing yourself out of the airlock and into the deep space vacuum, which is kind of the opposite of the goal of the spaceship. So let's discuss some other options. Cheryl, do you think that the positive effects of nature would still work if we flung them into outer space? Or do you think that there's something special about the surface of the planet? That's a great question, and one I've actually been wondering about myself quite a bit. I actually just made a video focusing on a thought experiment trying to build a nature park for space colonies for this exact reason. But short of hauling all kinds of seeds, plants, and animals to the moon, astronauts could still receive some of the benefits of biophilia. As I mentioned before, we can gain some of these benefits just by looking at photographs, and I bet there's also some evidence that listening to those soundtracks of waves crashing and whales singing could do a lot of the same things. There's also some evidence that playing video games with animal characters or nature themes, think your old Tamagotchi, or more modern video games like Farmville and Stardew Valley can help us feel more connected to nature. What if we bring plants into space? We know from a whole bunch of scientific studies that gardening is good for keeping a person's mind occupied and reduces depression and anxiety. 
NASA has been gardening in space since at least 2002. And in an article on their website, they specifically mention that not only is gardening in space good for supplying vegetables, but that it seems to provide comfort to the crew. What if we give the astronauts the opportunity to look out the window? While this hasn't been tested in deep space, looking at the view of Earth from nearby space has been shown to have very positive effects on mental well-being. I have a separate video about that on the topic of the overview effect. Having a window view is discussed in NASA's mental health report as a way of reducing stress and restoring the astronauts' feeling of meaning in their mission. Windows are also discussed as important in NASA's report on space habitats. According to the FCI ISS Crew Comments database, previous crew members consistently emphasize not only the operational but psychological importance of windows. Windows and the opportunity to look out available windows are an important component to sustain crews and maintain morale for long-duration missions. Can we use virtual reality to get positive effects? Both walking in nature and viewing pictures of nature have been shown to be beneficial for cognitive function on Earth, and simply looking at nature scenes helps calm the body after a stressful event. Maybe we could simulate those things in space. Perhaps we could set up a simulated nature walk for people in space to enjoy and receive some calming effects from. We could even include sounds of nature, which have been shown to be beneficial for anxiety relief in individuals with restricted movement due to medical treatment. NASA's report on mental health in space mentioned the possibility of using virtual reality in the future as a possible means to alleviate stress and allow social interaction otherwise not possible on a space voyage. Who knows, maybe someday space stations will be so advanced that they will contain parks and wildlife. But before we get to that point, it's good to plan ahead. Maybe someday on your trip to Mars, you can relax by listening to the sounds of nature while you water your tomato plants. That sounds like my kind of interstellar travel. Thanks to Cheryl for crossing over from the Roving Naturalist channel for this video, and make sure to check out and subscribe to her channel. I'd like to recommend this video in which she investigates the right or left-handedness of animals, because I like watching her dog get confused. Thanks for watching, and you'll see me next time. There's also some evidence that playing video games with animal characters or nature themes, think your old Tamagotchi, or more modern video... <laughs> Did you have one? Yeah. Oh, awesome. She <laughs> also had better. Tamagotchis. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I had, like, a cheap knockoff one, but... <laughs> Uh, Bama Flachi. Mm. Hey, come on, Bama Flachi, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> There's no buttons, it just slowly starves to death. Oh, that's why it's cheaper. Oh, no. It's cheaper than I have to make the buttons. Oh, no. That was a bad joke, sorry. That's <laughs> terrible. That's terrible. Um. <laughs> My poor Bama Flachi didn't stand a chance. Okay. <clears throat>